and cyan, magenta, and yellow. And there is 255, 2550. That is yellow. So the way they do it is they, and you know if you, you turn on a light and you have a, a dimmer in your house, which we've got one, at least one, where you turn on the dimmer, it goes from dark to bright. That's how they control the brightness of an LED. The more power to it, the more brightness you get. You take the power down and the dimmer gets. Therefore, when you're mixing colors, like in a palette for people, they mix the colors. So it's a matter of percentage in decimal. What percentage you're going to have of this and that. And so with the subtractive colors, you just take the power down in that power, the way you're going to come communicate power and so on is with the sexadecimal system. So if I said this is the strongest, this is the weak, this is black, this is red. So if we say 150, we're halfway there. So if we mix one of these with 150 and take another one down, let's say we take red down to 150 and green down to 150, now we no longer have the primary colors. Now we have what? A shade, mm -hmm. what we call it. In the world of uh, pottery, they have color, hues, value, tints, and tones, and shades. So as you mix and match your colors, most people uh, grew up with television. Remember in your television, you can change the tint and the hue. You have buttons there to get the exact skin tone that you want, or a very bright red. Now, I have yeah. a question. When you use a machine like this, obviously there must be a simpler way to figure out what you're going to use. I mean, do you have to actually know this system in order to choose what no. you want to print and uh, all you want? Or are you just kind of giving us if, a background on how it works? No, we tend to want things simple, right? Yeah. Okay. So Otherwise, somebody has done it. somebody has done the work for you. Right. You look at your computers today. If you have you done any color work on a computer, yeah. they'll Not have really. a little circle. You take that circle around, and that circle is going to change colors. Right. You take it around, it's going to change colors, and then down at the bottom, it will say, "Do you want another color that's not in that circle?" one of the 10 million hue colors or whatever. Then you just click the yes and it put that color in. So that's, that's the simplest way. But for most of them, uh, this new font work, it doesn't work. Okay. But for anything that you do on the computer now, if you want, uh, I'm trying to think where I used it the last time. The next way is 